back. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's me, there on the table. The disc. My voice. Can't take any chances, though. You may be some victim who simply stumbled down here. If so, can't let you let Dog out. No, not yet. If you're who I think you are, you came to fetch Dog. Use him to drag others here. Now I'll use you. And that Pip-Boy you're wearing. You're smart. Clever. The key to Dog's cage is simple. Take my voice to the cage above. Let me speak to the beast inside. Then you and I... We can talk. Dog, back in the cage. Dog, back what in the have cage. You here? You weren't who I was expecting. I'm disappointed. Still, even if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Or perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. The carving's a reminder for mirrors and for dog. Dog, who you heard coming in, howling and hungry, as always. I've been trapped in here for some time. Then you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. That's the easy explanation. The one humans use. Pre-war technology, as if it's the cause of all ills, mind and body. I needed to come out of the cage to protect Dog from clever humans like you. Do you see these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm. He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me, when all I try to do... <sighs> he cuts, hurts, and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed, just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages, like the ones here. It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things. Needs to think before he eats. Chew before he swallows. He's... eager that way. Now the collar's a part of me. Inside. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below. Like before. It was cold and heavy before going in the cage. 
Now you're here, and it's pulling and kicking again, tugging like a leash. Interesting. Really? Yet it led you here, to me. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. They detach. When segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. And if they're attached to neck flesh, warm, red. Dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog can't help himself. Hungry. Greedy. And now the collar's inside, alive again. And we're trapped here until it goes cold. No. No, I don't think so. Even in here, I have more control than you do. I'm not leaving until the one who controls the collar shows. Not his voice, not his hand, not his lackey. Him. And when he comes to see me, we'll settle things. So go on. Go back to your master. Tell him I'm waiting for him. Dog may follow him. I won't. Then I still win. I'd rather die in this cell than have Dog follow him any longer. Follow his orders, his commands, desperate for recognition. The old man, he has the need to hold on to the past, to the madre. I'd rather be free, let go of this shell, than have it cage me any longer. They all wanted their freedom at first. Then, they realized they could get inside the Sierra Madre. After that, their freedom wasn't important anymore. They couldn't let go, just like the old man. So you say you want your freedom? No. Even if you feel that way, it won't last. You'll forget, get greed blind, and you'll turn. <laughs> Dog? You're not talking to him now, are you? No. Even if you could drag Dog out of his cage, you still couldn't get him out of this cage. I put him here for a reason. If he could have escaped, he would have. So here he stays. Of course you can't. This cage is locked tight. From you and the old man. Of course I know. Even if I don't see it happen. Down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls, the click of the collars. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. You heard the voice, the promise. And then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then... Then Dog comes for you. Drags you here. Me? You think I want to haul bodies around the wastes like a Brahmin at the whip? No. Dog does it. When the old man says fetch, Dog fetches. You were in a man trap. And Dog made his rounds, and dragged you here. When, I don't know. But, it must have been... recent. Before the cage.
The way back doesn't matter. Try to leave, try to disobey, and your collar ends the journey faster than you can say, begin again. You're clever. You'd be able to find a way back if you left the villa. Dog can... I can find the way back, if back is where I even wanted to go. Until the old man lets you go, you're going nowhere. This beautiful paradise, with all its toxins and death, it's home. You're not him any more than I'm Dog. But that collar around your neck, you're an extension of the old man's grasp. Clumsy, perhaps, but a tool, yes. And once you get acclimated to the Sierra Madre, then you'll feel the same overpowering hunger the old man does. And then you'll be him, not just his hand. Elijah, human, weak like all of you are. Feeling age circling him like starved dogs, howling for blood. To me, he reeks of age and failure. And madness. To me, he is simply the old man. To dog, he is master. His name, meaningless. Running out of years, hopes and dreams running through his withered hands like sand from the pig empty and scorched by the sun. The old man, this Elijah, tried to hold the sun in his hands. Arrogance was cast down for it. Icarus' crime was to fly too high. Elijah... Elijah wanted to bring the sun down to him. <laughs> Arrogance. Heard the call of the Sierra Madre, just like you did. Exactly the same way. Finds out it's more than a story. Comes to this shining, poisonous grail. This jewel of the desert. Dog knows him more than I do. Dog's always nodding, always obeying him, because he's weak and hungry and greedy for Master's affection. Of course I know. Even if I don't see it happen. Down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls, the click of the collars. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. You heard the voice, the promise, and then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then, then Dog comes for you, drags you here. Of course you do. And so do I. The key? Why, it's the old man. The one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up so he and I can... talk. If Dog was in control when the old man appeared, well... He would just do whatever he commanded, as always. And I can't have that. Dog... obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? You... Don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage. End you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... No. No, no, don't! I'll make you suffer for this. I promise you! Although it may not matter. I suspect the Sierra Madre will be reward enough for ones like you. Master, 
The dog not hear you come in. Too hungry now. At cage door. Master, dog is listening. Now you are close, and he can hear you over hunger. Master, dog is here. What does master want? Dog... Dog doesn't have a... Hmm... Here it is. Dog... Dog didn't know it was there. How did it get there? Yes, master. Master sounds different. Quieter. Master... Dog doesn't want to be in the cage anymore. Dog will be good this time. Dog promises. Yes, Master. Dog waited a long time. Brought you many people. Dog will follow. Fetches. We'll share. Have food? Dog fetches. We'll share. Have food? to go back, back to the base.
It's growling. Back, back to the base. 
Dog because gets hungry, can't stop it. Always need Don't go through the gate to Puesta del Sol yet. Gather the others first.
The voice doesn't come back. Mean. Bad. speakers have aged poorly, like the Madre, pre-war junk. The speakers emit a signal that'll set off your caller if you stay too long. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. Insides are growling. to go back, back to the base. The church is the church. Dog was getting hungry. 